The after requires image implementation. This is the biggest one. Image implementation. Minister Brewster, what I'm most challenged with is that there are things that God will ask us to do that I just can't see myself doing. The challenge between God and Ezekiel is that Ezekiel had to believe that if he started talking that the bones would move. He had to see himself as God saw him. God saw him as a person that could do this. But he had to believe in what God saw. That many of you, you see yourself like everybody else sees you, but not like God sees you. And because you don't see yourself as God sees you, you limit your opportunity to operate in a different realm of faith. So God is saying, I know you have it in you, but do you believe it? you have it in you? And the challenge is uh, we spend so much time around people who are telling us that we can't, that we forget that we can And so oftentimes, uh, God will tell us something about ourselves uh, because remember, he knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. He knew you before. Those who he foreknew, he also predestined. And those who he predestined, he also justified. And those who he justified, he also qualified. He knew you long before you knew yourself. And so if he knew me that long ago, if he gives me something to do, it's because he believes I can do it even if I believe I can't do it. And so what happens is I start telling people what he told me to do, and they start telling me I can't because they don't see the version of me that God sees. And you are allowing people to speak to a version of you that God never created you to be. Who were you before your daddy told you you were nothing? Who were you before those people told you that you were weak? Who were you before people started calling you a failure? You were great and highly favored in God because that's what he called you to be. The question is, can you walk in the image that God has created you to be?